Hi guys! On this episode of my waist loss journey, this is day 13, and I decided just to dance, shake my body, just to shake off, you know, just to sweat. You understand? Just keep yourself. I dance for like 30 minutes straight. So let's talk about my weight journey process. When I post what I eat in a day, some of you be like, ha, madam, oh, you're eating all this. How are you going to lose weight? One thing you don't understand is once you rush weight loss, hey, you're making a big mistake. Because if you rush and starve yourself, like now, let me see, you're someone that used to finish two bowls of oil ever. Then because you want to lose weight, you say, you say eating half, half bowl of ever. Hmm. Do you know that when you lose that weight, after two weeks, and you continue from two, two bowls of ever, ha, you will become fatter than you were before. Like, you will so regret it, and it's going to be so depressing because you become times two of your, your former size. But when you are taking two bowls of ever before, then you start with taking one and a half bowl. Then as time goes on, as you, as, as you progress, you keep reducing, you enter one bowl, then from there you enter half bowl. Before you know it, your system will get used to it. To the extent that your stomach will compress that even if you put the amount you used to eat before, you, can, you see yourself, you cannot be able to finish it. You give yourself time and just be consistent with it. Before you start the journey, you give yourself a target. Example, if you were like me now, if you are I was 95 kg, so I gave myself a target. I'm going to be 75. And once I reach 75, I will not stop. I mean, until I reach 75, I won't stop. And that, that will keep you going. That target you are looking up to. Like now, I'm, I'm already 80, 80 kg. So 75 is around the corner. But it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that when I reach that 75, I will stop. Because once you stop, you might gain back the weight. You, con- you keep going. You keep going so that the weight will not come back. You just maintain it. So I, if I reach 70, it's very fine. So I will do till I reach 70. So just make sure you are very concerned in whatever you are doing to lose weight. You can eat anything. Don't be too hard on yourself. Like, you can just give yourself a target of 3 months. You understand? Give yourself a target of 3 months. By 3 months, I should be able to achieve this. You just set it. And you keep your mind focused on it. And some of you are still asking me the method I'm using. I've been explaining it in all my videos every day. But let me also explain it again. I use number one, portion control method. I reduce the amount of food I eat from the one I usually eat before. You understand? I reduce the amount. You might be thinking it's big. But my dear, I was eating more than that because I was breastfeeding. You understand? But now my baby have started eating and also breastfeeding at the same time. So I have to reduce what I am eating. That is that is portion control. Number two is light exercise. Just home workout. Anything you do just to sweat and keep your body fit. That is number two. I do that like three times a week. Then number three is a little intermittent fasting. This actually means just skipping meals, fasting from some for, for some hours. Like me, I just I fast for like twelve hours. After eating by six, I, I fast for more than twelve hours. After eating by six p.m., I will not take anything again apart from water until nine a.m. And that's what I, what I'm taking at nine a.m. is not even food. I'm taking lemon and ginger with warm water in the morning before eating anything. I'll take it on empty stomach. And remember that if you have ulcer, you don't take these two, two combinations on an empty stomach. And after taking lemon and, and ginger, I will not have my breakfast. So my breakfast, I take my breakfast around 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. So after my breakfast, the next thing is just my dinner. So I say having two square meals instead of a normal three square meals. You understand? Just if you do it like this, you will not even know when you will lose the weight. You won't even know. It's, it's less stressful. Weight loss is not a death sentence. It's just for you to eat healthy. You understand? Just be concerned with whatever you are doing that will make you lose weight. I wanted to add the music I'm dancing to, but it's not going to be allowed. So here now, I'm just dancing. I'm just dancing to any music. Like, it's not necessarily, you're not dancing for competition. I'm just shaking my body, moving my body. You just, just make sure your whole body, you understand, 
is is on movement. At least you burn some fat and all that. So join me and stop the procrastination. As our procrastinating time is going. Time is going. If you don't start now, when will you start? And if you don't start now, you keep getting fatter. If you if you are if you were somebody like me, that 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 was a stay at home mom, you eat, sleep, wake up, and do small house chores. You will get fat and get fat and get fat. I'm not saying you should not be comfortable with your body. All sizes are perfect. It's God that gives. It's God that creates everybody. So everybody is perfect. Just just the way you are. Just be confident with your body. Me, I'm proud of my body. Doing this is my choice. So doing it should be your choice. Don't do it for anybody. Don't do it for society pressure. Just do it to feel better for yourself. And this is me after my small dance exercise. You can see I'm all sweaty. My blood is circulating very well. My heart is pumping. And that's all what you need. Thanks for watching. Follow for more.